Welcome back, welcome back. And today, I know, I know, I've just put out a video about a destructive gigantus auto team. But if anyone watched it and still remember, I was talking about like problematic the Iseria Tama Lilius thing was with needing resistance and an unit that gives you heals on S1 like an archer or something. Yeah, I found a solution for that so that you can actually run Luna, which makes it pretty good like very stable i mean you're watching it right now definitely the best thing about it who needs resistance on the night if the knight has no skill cooldowns on any skills at all and who needs heals for the knight if the knight can heal him, uh, him or herself that's the good thing about charlotte she can pretty much tank the boss very very solid and keeps herself alive so you can go a very good dps like luna and the good thing about that let me tell you the scores that my team has gotten so far the lowest amount of scoring <laughs> scoins <laughs> the lowest amount of scores was 800,000 and then I got so unlucky with defense breaks. I, I, I wanted to cry. Oh my god. The highest score so far I had was almost 1,400,000. Uh, this run that is currently ongoing will end up at 1.2 million, but I got actually very lucky at the first half not as lucky anymore in the second half i just wanted to show you that i got a solution for the problem that i was facing let's take a look at my units as you see my charlotte her artifact doesn't really matter anything that increases her damage actually makes her better but she needs some pretty good gear on lifesteal like that's probably too tanky already but i wouldn't say it's far above the needed tankiness my luna she's fast she also runs ancient sheath which is the best artifact for luna in, in general if you run her only for her s1 and if daydream joker cannot work yeah she can also work on full dps but what you want is at least a little bit of tankiness that she doesn't drop below half hp i mean it's still an attack boost even after her buff i know her buff is not out yet but i'm so glad that she won't drop below 100 percent crit rate anymore when her hp get halved my tamarine uh nothing special but magahara's tome i know i know magahara's tome doesn't work in lich but i'm still using her with magahara's tome in lich because it's more than enough <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh yeah run her fast like the effectiveness is not as important anymore since iseria takes care of the defense buff most of the time with her anti-buff but the resistance you need it definitely oh yeah and and luna no resistance no effectiveness it's not that important because even if luna gets reset by the boss she still has her as one that resets her S3 again. So Iseria usually never gets to use her S2 on Luna. At least I haven't seen it. Maybe it's because I run her quite fast. Yeah, it, it shouldn't happen too often. And with too often, I mean like almost never. Iseria herself. Give her enough effectiveness and resistance that she never get reset she needs to be faster than tamarin and besides that just make her tanky give her song of stars yeah max effect chance cooldown cooldown and that's about it hope i could have upgraded some of you guys teams <laughs> if not sorry see ya